Proverbs 18:13 in action. Uh, what do I mean by that? Well, Proverbs 18, verse 13, I think is one of my most quoted verses that I've uh, said to people over the years because it applies so well. He that answereth the matter before he heareth it, it is folly and shame unto him. I can't tell you how many times I have seen this thing in the comments. People will comment, well, the preacher rapture is a lie or something. Okay, you didn't hear the whole video. Well, you didn't even cover, you didn't even talk about this, or you didn't even do that, or did it. And I th it's, it's in the video. I said this thing in the video. You answer the matter before you hear it. You know, and, and people, oh, I have to be the first one to leave a comment or something or whatever. And I, I post a 20-minute video, and two minutes into it being posted online, people are commenting, hey, great video. <laughs> you didn't watch it. Um, and it works that way. But it also works in the way of a lot of people like to watch these walk-in talks because they're short, they're quick, they're inter interesting. You know, you're seeing a lot of beautiful surroundings here and everything. And, and you say, I wonder, I'm curious as to what his property looks like and, and you know, the flowers and things and stuff that I show. Um, you know, showing God's creation. Um, you know, you like to watch these videos. But you don't like to watch the really long studies that I do. And I'll get the thing of people saying... Uh, I can't believe you'd fall for the pre-trib fib or something. Oh, I've done over 160 studies on it. I think I understand a few things. You know, oh, you're just, you're just uh, repeating what you've read from Schofield. I have never read the Schofield Study Bible, ever. Well, you got it from John Nelson Darby. Never read John Nelson Darby. <laughs> Not because I, I don't want to or I'm, I'm answering a matter before I hear it or something. No, I don't need to read those guys. I don't need to study under them. I've studied other under other men, and I've done my own research and my own study, and go through the scriptures myself. And the Lord shows me these things, and you can see them too if you just go to the Bible and compare scripture with scripture. See, you don't have to say, "Well, I need to uh, look at all the different uh, heretics out there or something and whatever." I can look at any of those guys. Again, I'm not going to be guilty of the thing of not answering a matter before I hear it or answering a matter before I hear it, rather. Um, but the point is, I understand the arguments very well. I've been doing this for a very long time. Again, I'm not some YouTube uh, webcam wonder guy or something. Um, I preached in church buildings. I preached on the street. I went door to door. Uh, I've written books. I've um, Only one ever was published. I've written a few other books. I did collation work over the years on the Bible version issue going through and actually finding, you know, where Bibles are different and writing it down. Over 20,000 references between the NIV, the TNIV, and the King James Bible. Um, so, you know, 20,000 times three, because I look it up in three different Bibles. Strong's Concordance is where I got the reference, and then three different, uh, well, Bible, and then two versions. Say it that way. So 60,000 different references that I went through. You know, no computer, no, i uh, just do this and get artificial intelligence to do this thing for me. No, I went through it, paper, wrote it down on paper with pencil. So, yes, I've done lots of research over the years. I've studied, I've read a lot of books, I've watched a lot of videos, I've listened to a lot of preaching. I've been places, I've gone places to hear preaching and teaching and, and uh, you know, I am very qualified, in other words, and I'm not saying that I have to speak as a fool here because people are answering the matter before they hear it. And they're thinking, oh, Denlinger doesn't know what he's talking about. Yes, I do know what I'm talking about. And again, I'm doing these videos, these walk and talks, just as a way to quickly, right now I came out, I undid the gate thing, and I'm getting ready to go. Put my camera bag in, the, um, in our vehicle and getting ready to go to the office. I can spend a half hour, an hour out here quickly, just taking a little morning walk. That's why I'm doing this. So there's more content for people because before it might go two or three weeks before between studies, because it takes me that long to be answering people, to be doing my daily routines of homesteading here and things. And, and, um, you know, being a husband and a father, I have to do things there. We have to go shopping. We do, you know, we don't really go on vacation or anything, but we might take a day where we go and do a hike or something fun. Um, it takes me a while between studies. And 
I have to do the research for the study as well. I don't just, you know, uh, regurgitate what I've been taught or get a commentary and then just preach sermons out of that for years on end or something, uh, like a lot of the other guys out there do. Um, I don't do that. Everything that I do is original. Uh, if I quote from a book, I will show the book. Which brings me to my next point. Um, right now I'm going to be setting up my overhead camera setup where I can show book quotes and things because I have a bunch of different uh, studies coming up that I will be using that. I do have sermon notes written, so I will be coming out with a good one here um, very soon. But right now it's just a matter of there's a bunch of things I need to get done. Um, and it's been raining a lot lately, so thankfully it's not raining right now. Uh, sun is just coming up. It's about eh, it's probably just before six o'clock in the morning. But um, I am going to be doing a study that I've been wanting to do for years, and that is on the Geneva Bible. Is the Geneva Bible a good translation? Is it better than the King James Bible? The whole thing. But I'm going to have to show overhead camera um, different things with the Geneva Bible. So. Uh, you can expect to have that out probably within a week or two, Lord willing, hopefully. Um, I also have some other very shocking quotes from books that we have purchased um, over the years um, on the banking issue and a lot of other things there. Some really interesting stuff coming out there. I found some other shocking information um, in regards to some other things. I'm not going to get into that one. But I'll show that one in the few, in the probably the next couple of days. I'll try to get to that. Um, but please, please don't answer a matter before you hear it. Please don't just say, "Well, you can't prove this." You know, I see people attacking me. Probably the two biggest attacks that I get on the rapture issue and on the Godhead, and people get all upset. You know, and they'll Jesus is you how dare you reject the Trinity? You can't reject the trinity and you're rejecting you know something like i'm rejecting that jesus is god or something almost you don't understand the godhead issue okay i saw a comment i think yesterday some some woman i think wrote a comment and she said that you're a body soul and spirit so you're literally a trinity walking around uh well tripartite being would be the correct term there um but that proves the godhead doctrine it doesn't prove a trinity a trinity teaches three separate persons Three separate beings is what it teaches. And Trinitarians will try to deny that. No, that's, that's not what we believe. Yes, it is what you believe. Yes, it is. Um, you just don't want to admit to that. Okay, it's a Roman Catholic papal heresy, this teaching of the Trinity. Oh, you don't know what you... You know, watch my studies. Read my book. Okay? If you want all the proof there and everything. And I mean, you don't even need to get the book. Let me just say that too. Uh, there's... You know, all my sermons that I do, there's actually more on the Godhead for free here on YouTube than what I have in my book. So, you know, don't get excited. No, he's just trying to sell his book or something. I make very little money off the book, believe me. I get, you know, periodically I'll get a check or something or, or the, you know, thing deposited uh, to my PayPal account. That's how I have it set up. And I'll get something and it'll be, you know, $30 or something like that. So, you know, for the sale of my book. So I'm not getting rich off of that. I don't think it's ever gone above maybe $40 for the book. Um, and it's not a daily thing, but believe me, maybe once a month. So I don't sell that many. But um, just wanted to do a real quick video, just a kind of little update, ministry update thing here. Uh, there's some... Good studies coming out. I just have, I'm trying to set up some stuff at the office right now. And uh, just every day I research, um, every day I try to answer a few comments. Um, you know, I do get letters and I try to answer some. I, it's, you know, quite crazy, you know, how many people contact me and everything. And, um, but I try to do my best at the whole thing. But, Please don't just watch these walk and talk things. That's so why I put links to the bigger studies at the end. Um, it's going to take you some time to really go through the scriptures and learn the scriptures, to be fully grounded in them, and 
where you won't be shaken up and, and knocked around by the false prophets out there. So that will be it for now. We're going to head to the office and get these videos uploaded. So thank you to everybody out there for your support. And again, I'll say one other verse. I just remembered I was going to say this one. The Bible says, I think it's uh, 2 Timothy chapter 4, the time will come when they will not endure sound doctrine. Um, don't be one of those people. Thank you for watching.